Good morning Sunday Club! How are we all today? Can you believe we are in half term? It seems like only yesterday I was saying that it's Easter and now we're in May half term. Um, I'm sure you're all ready for a break from homeschooling and if you're not I know your parents will be. Um, so yeah, hi again. Uh, sorry there was not a Sunday Club last week. Um, I've been very busy with university work but I'm pleased to say I've handed my assignments in so I can focus on you guys now. So yay! Um, but this Sunday Club is going to be slightly different in the sense I am uh, not going to read anything from the Bible. Um, instead we're going to talk a little bit about what the Bible actually is and I'm going to set you guys um, two challenges, two tasks if you like. So we'll get on to talking about the Bible. So what actually is it? Imagine if you were talking to your friends and they had no idea what the Bible is. What would you say it is? You could say it's a book, you could say it's guidelines, you could say it tells us wonderful stories, there's lots inside the Bible but in fact it's not just one book it's made up of 66 books and as we know from previous Sunday lessons, um, Sunday Club lessons for those who come to St Andrews and know that um, it's split into two halves so the Old Testament and the New Testament so there's 39 books in the Old Testament and 27 in the New Testament and it's a collection of these books um, and it's written by approximately 40 authors. So these authors were priests, scribes, record keepers. Some of them even met Jesus um, and Christ themselves um, and had written about it in a period of 2,000 years is what the Bible covers. So a long, long time. For us Christians, uh, the Bible can help us um, when we're a bit lost or confused um, so like we are at the moment living in the coronavirus um, we might not know where to turn to so for us it can provide us with hope with a guidance by looking at some of the parables that Jesus has told us like what I've been reading in previous weeks but for others it's the truth well for us as Christians it is the truth the, the word of the Lord. In Psalm 119, 105, it says, God's word is a lamp to our feet and helps us understand the truth. And that's what the Bible is. But it could also be like a history book. So it's telling us what it's like for people who lived in that time, in that 2000 year time from Moses to Jesus. And it tells us, it gives us a glimpse into what their lives were like because it sounds very different to what we are living in now, living in our houses, living with cars on the road, very different times. So we can look back at that, but we can still use the same guide guidelines today and use them in our lives. Now, a couple of years ago when I was at university um, in Salford near Manchester, my brother also attended a university in Manchester and we went on a day out and um, we went to the university um, library in Spinningfield. So if you get a chance when uh, lockdown is over and we're allowed to travel again, uh, perhaps you could make a trip to Manchester and go to this library because there is something really awesome. And it's this segment, a fragment from the original St John's Gospel and there it is. So that just shows that we are not only just reading a book which has got millions and millions of copies, we're reading some truth because they have found the original copies and there it is in that library and it's really awesome. It's tiny, tiny, tiny piece of paper but it's really cool to look at. So going back to the history thing and uh, what I'd like you to do today is two tasks. So one is for yourself and then two is for the future. So the first task that I'd like you to do and have fun with this half term is to grab yourself a shoebox if you have one. Um, if not, you could put it in a bag or whatever. Now in this shoebox um, you can add your Sunday Club crafts, crafts which we have done um, over this time. 
But then I also want, want you to write some letters um, and add some letters in this box. And it's a letter for yourself, a letter about how you are feeling right now, what you have been up to during lockdown and what you what have you learned from it. If you don't fancy writing letters, you can also write a diary perhaps, looking back, or you can um, just draw some pictures. Perhaps you could also take some photographs of you and your family, maybe on your doorstep or of activities you've been doing, maybe a piece of home school work you've been doing, you can put that in there as well. So that's the first thing I want you to do. And now the second thing I want you to do, so I think we are in history right now, we are living in the future's past. So I thought we can make a time capsule. Um, so a time capsule is something which capsulates time. So it's a moment in time, so 2020, where we are living now. Um, and hopefully it'll be something that people in years to come can open and find out a little bit about you and about your family and about what you like and what you get up to. So what you'll need for this is an airtight box. So something where water won't get into. Also, cardboard won't work too well um, because we're going to put it into the ground um, and we don't want it to get wet. You can also wrap it in a plastic bag as well if you want to. So in the box, whoop, um, I would like you to add a letter. Um, so a letter to the future. And you can put the date and introduce yourself, what's your name, what's your age, where you're currently living, um, who your family are, what school you go to. Um, you can mention that we're currently living in a lockdown due to coronavirus if you want to, but you don't have to. Um, you can talk about your church and about Sunday club and about uh, what it's, what's it like being a Christian in 2020. Uh, you can also talk about your hobbies um, and then you can end it by encouraging whoever's reading it to make their own time capsule as well. Now to accompany that, um, you can make a little cross, um, like a little prayer cross. You could write about that in your letter. You can also uh, do a little prayer um, in an envelope, um, either praying for the future, praying for whoever's reading this, or just praying for the world around us. I thought it'd also be quite nice um, you could add a photo of your family um, if that's who you're going to talk about in the letter and you could add a photo of Yorkshire perhaps or your house um, and then something to show what it's like where we're living now um, you could add a postal stamp like that you could add some coins because money changes over time um, depending on how much money you want to put in there <laughs> um, and then I thought you could also put maybe your favourite food as well so I put some popcorn in there uh, which disclaimer is not actually my favourite food but we haven't done the Asta shop yet so we don't actually have any chocolate in the house otherwise I would put a bar of chocolate in there um, just so the people in the future know what the food is like and um, so I'm expecting it to be, be stale if people were to open it in 50 years or 100 years time um, but the packaging will look different to what it'll look like then and um, so it just gives a little little snapshot of what it's like so it would be awesome if you guys could do that and then if you dig a hole in your garden or somewhere near where you live um, quite a deep one and then cover it back up and then there it is, just leave it as it is. And then in, you know, 30 years, 50 years, 100 years time, um, someone could dig it up and find out a little bit about you. So that is your moment of history and you are continuing that. So we'll just end today's session in a quick prayer. So, dear Lord, thank you that we can remember you and the great stories of your word lord through the bible we also pray for this current virus that we are going through as a country and globally 
we pray for our leaders, our NHS, and we pray for those who have lost loved ones. And we know that you will be there for them, Lord. We pray for future generations that they can look back at us and see the unity and solidarity we had and that we all stand together for you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Right, thanks guys. Um, I should be back next week. And like always, if you have um, any prayer requests or anything you'd like to talk about, then please let me know. I'd also really love to see photos of your time capsules. So uh, please add them to the comments or um, ask your parents to send me them because I just thought that'd be so cool. Okay, see you later. Bye.